Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a looker expert. And today I would like to talk about which type of chart use in which case. Let's, uh, I will use Universal Analytics DMO account as a data source. And let's check which type of chart do we have in a looker studio. If we click add chart, we can see different types of chart. Tables. First of all, tables. We can use tables for all type of data. Actually, it is really, okay, universal analytics demo account. Uh, we can use tables for any type of data. And uh, it's, yeah. if we want to show details, we use tables. Uh, which kind of table should we use? Like a uh, regular table, table with bars, or a table with heat map? Depend on the case and depend on, on your goal, what do you want to show? Nothing special here. I will keep it. Uh, next element that we have uh, in chart, it is a scorecard. Scorecard uh, can show only one data, and I recommend you to use this type of elements to show KPIs, to show main metrics of your dashboard. And for example, if you want to show this metric, um, compare with the previous period, or with the previous year. So if we talk about, if we are interested in users, uh, new users could be a nice metric, and scorecard is a nice chart to show to show it. So if we want to show KPIs, only one number to put attention for some metric, use scorecards. I will add some color to this chart. Uh, some background, green one, oh, I don't know, gray one, fine. Uh, we have a uh, scorecard with compact number and regular scorecard. In this case, we don't, um, maybe if we use compact number, we can change it here, and change to compact numbers. What is next? Time series. Uh, if we want to show some metric in dynamic, how this metric changes during the time period, we use time series chart. Uh, some specific from uh, of this chart, it is the dimension here should relate it to time period. It could be date, year, months, uh, but it, it cannot be device type and it cannot be user type or something like that. So if we want to show one or more metrics in dynamic, we use time series chart. I can move it here, for example doesn't matter actually, I just create different type of charts. Um, yeah, differences is not so big and you can change uh, between different types of some series chart here. And where is it? When you add smooth or you add some data points. The next type of chart, it is a bar chart. Bar chart is the most common chart, like time series and bar chart, the the most common charts ever. Uh, bar chart, it is super nice to show. If we have two, um, no, by this, for example, we want to show some device categories and split users by device categories. Well, we can use bar chart. Or if we have uh, more than three categories, we can use bar chart. Also, if we want, like we have several shops, uh, several products that we want to show difference between, okay, when we sh want to show difference between categories, or how do these categories change during the time, we use uh, bar charts. It could be product product and uh, purchases, unique purchases. 
Uh, but for example, if we have really long title as we have it right now, uh, I recommend you to use vertical or this kind of bar chart because here we can show um, the full name of the product. And this kind of bar chart is nice to use for different rankings to show top five website pages, top five product to sell, and so on. Uh, as well, we can use some sticking. Okay. okay. We can use text bars, but I don't see it here because we need to change type for stacked bar chart to see stacked bar chart. Stacked by bar chart, for example, is nice to use if we want to split, okay, product and country, not nice options, uh, but for example, if we have, um, we can split it by users, by user type, for example, we want to see new or return visitors by products. And, uh, or device type, device type. When we have two dimensions, when we have two parameters uh, to split our data, we can use text bar charts and we can see new and return visitors, for example, uh, by desktop, or we can see gender, for example, and check uh, device, device category by gender. So when we have several dimensions, Several, several break, two breakdowns, we can use stacked bar charts. Uh, if we want to see this data not in uh, exact value, but in a percentage, we can use 100% staking and see that 46% of desktop users are females, but for mobiles, and percentage is 38%. Mm, so sometimes it's nice to use as well. Let's keep it like a tease. Uh, another type of chart that we have, oh, sorry. It's pie chart. We can use pie chart to show proportion of different elements. For example, we know that we have two genders and we want to, to see how many percentage of, um, for example, split, unique purchases by gender, for example. And we know that the whole circle it is 100% and we want to see the share. In this case, we use pie chart. But be careful with the pie charts because it, when we have too many uh, categories, too many rows in our tables, um, pie chart uh, will be, will look a bit messy like product if we change gender to product. Uh, we will see a lot of slices in a pie chart and it's really difficult to understand. And as you see, 80, 84% it others. So it doesn't make any sense to use pie charts for this kind of data. But if you have uh, two, three, four categories, pie chart could show you share by slice uh, size really clear like device we have only three type of devices and device category and uh, it will be really nice to see and uh, this chart will work so we can understand that the biggest part of our purchases came from desktop so when we want to show percentage we use pie chart uh, but when we don't have a lot of categories to have not so many slices what else we have here? Google Maps. Uh, we have Google Maps and Geo Charts. They're, uh, they stay next to each other. When we have some Geo data, when we have cities, countries, uh, we don't have any metrics, I think. Color metric. Uh, so when we have some geo data, town, city, uh, so in country, uh, we can use Google Maps or geo chart. Mm, uh, they 
compete for the same goal. Then we have combo charts, like lines with bars. Lines with bars uh, we can use when we have um, two metrics, two or more metrics, and we want to show them in dynamic. For example, or we want to compare um, two different metrics based on different dimensions. But I like to use this kind of chart, for example, when we have date. And uh, when we have two parameters that we cannot compare, and um, for example, unique purchases and conversion rate, commerce conversion rate, the super difference. And in this case, I would like to show unique purchases as a bars with left axis and a conversion rate uh, with right axis and as a line. Uh, okay, and sort by date. So I like to use this kind of charts uh, when I have two super different metrics like uh, conversion rate, some different type of rates, conversion rate, CTR, and so on. And we have some uh, constant values like purchases, transactions, revenue, etc., etc. And if I want to show to this data on the same chart, I like to use this combination. And in this case, I like double. I, I use double axis. Um, yeah, let's make it bigger, I think, to see the result. Uh, area chart, it is nice to use uh, when we have a revenue, for example, and we have um, our revenue increase day by day, and we can use cumulative effect. I think in this case, when we want to show cumulative effect, I think it is nice to use uh, area charts. Uh, when we have two different parameters and we want to show how do they relate, uh, the correlation between two parameters, we can use scatter or bubble charts. Scatter bubble charts shows, uh, they are show correlation between two parameters. We have uh, x and y axis with different parameters and we can see relations between them. And uh, bubble chart and sc uh, scatter chart, the difference between them is the size of the bubbles. Uh, if we uh, remove bubble size metric, we will, get, we will have scatter chart. So it is more for statistic, uh, and yeah, correlation and statistics things. What else do we have here? We have pivot table, bullet chart, three map, and okay, pivot table, for example. Pivot table is a regular table we use a lot, and our difference yeah, between regular and um, pivot tables, we can do some breakdown between like device type, gender, and so on. So we have two parameters and we show data. Uh, we can show one or two metric by break down to a one, one or two metrics by two parameters or even more. Mm. Actually, we're almost done with all type of charts that we have. Um, bullet chart, actually, I don't use it much in my work. Tree map I use sometimes. Tree map I use, for example, if I want to show like the biggest category, uh, like product category, for example, when we have, okay, it's opposite from pie chart. In pie chart, if we have few categories, we use pie chart. If we have too many categories, we use trim up chart. For example, if we use product, we have uh, a lot of products and our mm, purchases. And we want to see on one picture what is the main product that we have. We can use uh, this trim up chart, uh, but we can 
reduce amount of charts. Where is it? Okay, I don't see it. I don't understand why I do not see it. But we should have opportunity to re reduce number of. Ah, uh, okay, total rows. It's here. For example, 20. And we can see which products uh, we sold our main products. Uh, we can see it on the map. And uh, yeah, we can add next level of brand. We can add uh, one more level. For example, we can sh see color and uh, size of the square, size of the shape. And by color and size of the shape, we can understand uh, which category is, mo is mo the most popular and which product in each category is most popular. Um, and uh, the last chart, that this square chart, uh, I don't like it, this kind of chart from default charts. Uh, you can see the same data visualization as in community visualization here in a community visualization. Here you can find, I prefer this thing, this kind of chart. Uh, it's mm, this kind of chart from community visualization has the same function, but it has more settings to stop. And this kind of chart, when we have uh, when we have goal, when we have some um, target, we can use this. For example, if we have one thousand for our budget, we can use cost uh, to show how much percentage from the whole budget we spent. So, if we have some KPIs, if we have some target, we can use this kind of chart to show uh, this kind of data to show cost based on our budget, for example. Uh, that is it. I didn't show you bullet chart, uh, but actually it's so specific. I really don't almost don't use it. Um, maybe I can. I used it actually with the same case is this kind of chart when I have like target and like I have target budget or target revenue, and I use this chart to show target uh, to show the target. For example. Okay, seven thousand. We can show like our target. It is seven thousand. Okay, and uh, the maximum is seven thousand five hundred. And we can see by this black line that our target is seven thousand, and uh, our unit. Our unique purchase is, is already more than 7,000, so we reach our goal. So I use this chart only for this case. Actually, it's interesting if you use this bullet chart for other cases, not for budget and revenue or for something else. It will be interesting to hear. Please share it in the comment. And I think here that is it, what I wanted to, sh to tell you during this video. We observe all type of charts and depend on which type of data you have, you can use different type of, ch of chart. And uh, yeah, the main idea here to present your data in a better way and uh, yeah, use a chart that fit for your needs. Hope you like this video and yeah, see you soon.